free alive! Hello. Hello everyone, welcome back to Friday's Paradise Presents Arc 4 of the Penelope and Islands Void Boys uh, featuring new character Sean playing someone who you'll meet later. Uh, if you have been here from last week and on Monday, we introduce this character as... Uh, I'll let you describe him later. For now, quick announcements. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing our faction turns, our monthly faction turns, and Thursday we'll be doing some more God of War. Saturday, Snoach will be back for the Saturday team name pending game, and of course Sunday uh, we'll continue. Uh, we'll be doing Minecraft uh, before continuing with. <gasps> Is my mic working? Is my mic on? Yeah. And Zen said, "Mic check, Joshi." You uh, being put fine by my end. Yep, I can hear you. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So that should be fine. As long as you can hear me, it should be fine. Um, yeah, and on sa Sunday will be Minecraft, and then this Boy Boys game will be every fortnight, so every two weeks, uh, so that uh, we have a bit more time to prepare in between sessions, especially since everything's getting uh, higher, everyone's going higher level. Yeah, cool. How is everyone doing? How have your weeks been? This week has been super happening for me. I oh, forget how tall he's already, is it? Oh, Sean, hi. how are you? Oh, I'm having a conversation without you, Josh. I thought you were asking the... Sorry. My week has been... <laughs> it could be better. But this is a good end to the week, I guess. Or is it a good start to the next week? Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, I'm just... Messing around. Well, I'm set... I'm still setting up, so... um. Carry the conversation over to you, next person. For for the other three, like besides Sean, I understand. Uh, still, still in mourning. Uh, that's that's totally fine, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, we, we 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 will be repeatedly filling the void with various different people. Uh, hopefully, over the next uh, fifty weeks. Yeah, I'm very excited to show um, Sean's character. Uh, oh, on, on my side, right, like, Phoenix, Phoenix Iwaki, one of the people that we, uh, hang out with a lot, they, oh, um, Brian, is the audio peaking? Uh, for, I yeah, because, mic. my mic is peaking. Uh, alright, let me, let me look at that. Well, uh, Ari, how was your week? It was fine. Yeah. Right. What, did you, what did you do this week? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I met Barry. Like, oh wait, we we had a hike last week, right? Remember? Maybe. No, we, we did. No, like that that small hike trail that we did. I think that was last week. And this week, I met Barry at least twice to gym. And yeah, that's about it. Work was bad. I mean, work is always bad. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. Oh, that's about it, lah. I think I was not. Why? Why is everyone's life so boring this week? I mean, like, I mean, I I could tell you things that, like, you know, I shouldn't be telling, but I can't because we're on stream. So, yes. What? Why? Why are you? Life is separate from stream. Yes, I have another life. What is this? This what is, illegal? What illegal things are you doing? These aren't illegal. These are purely legal. Like I am actually, you know, I have. I can tell you guys what he's done the past week, and he's not telling stream. Okay, he spent two days crying over a boat. Okay, it was one and a half days, and I did not cry. I was just sobbing, just a bit. Okay, but uh, it's one week since I actually like. Asked Raf to come back, so he didn't reply. Really <laughs> I think I should ask him again. He gave up. <laughs> he just he just stopped. Uh, yeah, dude. I think. Whoa, my God, shit. Yeah, come back. Okay. Oh, are you sending him a message now? <laughs> he's just uh, he's just like really afraid that um that what's his name? Ralph will forget about him. Yeah, I mean, like every time uh, I'm around, around his area, I keep like calling him. He doesn't pick up. So. Hasn't Raf already forgotten him? Who who who's Raf? 
Ralph is BFF. Who's, I mean Ralph, Ralph. Ralph. Like Wreck-It, Wreck-It, Wreck it, Ralph. Ralph! I, I like how I'm actually calling him by his proper name, now he's not on stream. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he leaves, you just call him by his real name. Said yeah, the, 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 the Sean feel left out because you keep talking about Ralph. About Ralph. Oh no, dude, don't worry, Sean, Sean's See, gonna get Sean, it. Sean's playing with his phones already, he, he, he doesn't yeah, cause he, be Yeah, because he's not it. happy. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what was that? Did you just dab? <laughs> Yeah, you just Bruce? <laughs> the wound Bruce? Oh my god, you know what? Dude, like, I am so gonna send this to Bruce. It's gonna be like, Bruce, it's totally okay. No, any shoot out yeah. there, just keep dabbing. Sean does it. Totally I fine. Dab, I don't full dab. Okay, okay. so so, so what, what is a full dab? I'm not showing it to you. <laughs> just show it to me. <laughs> okay, no, don't, don't, don't show it to me. Show it to the stream, dude. No, uh, I mean, it, it, it depends on whether chat wants it. Like, if chat wants it, then maybe later you have to do it, uh, okay? Um, so we get, so we get half banned. We get half banned for a half, uh, for half dab. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. How, how about how about this? Uh, I'll I'll make a deal. If today's game goes well and my character does well, and you think I need to dab for success, I will do it. Oh. <laughs> That's very high. Wait, 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 what, 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 what's the definition of doing well? I don't know. <laughs> Not dying. <laughs> Not dying. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly kill your character if you, if you want. Like, that's quite, it's quite easy to do. Oh man, that was so quick. I was just about to have fun. I just have to have fun. <laughs> You're expecting too much from this game. What fun? We're all here to be shocked out of our lives, you know. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean's already like, how am I gonna die? <laughs> you were never alive. I mean, so for, for everyone who doesn't know, right, this is Sean's official first D&D game ever. Right, so if you, uh, give him suggestions uh, or, or help him with rule stuff uh, because uh, he's playing a rogue. So I like I know some of you in chat. You all have played rogues. Um, so feel free to remind him to that he has a bonus action. Uh, if I forget, I'm I'm gonna try my best to remember. Uh, he's playing a thief, so he also has fast hands, which means he can feed any of y'all a potion if he has one as a bonus action. Oh. Uh, not just to himself, and uh, he, he can do a lot of stuff. His fast hands. Can you shred? He can. I, I, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Sean, do you have dead parents? Are your parents alive? Yeah. Yeah, really? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because in, everyone always like, rogues, or... rogues are like, like in, in the game. In the game. game. Yeah. Oh, in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't even know my parents. Were you adopted? I don't know. <laughs> I figure I, I lived on the streets. I was raised by the streets. Oh. oh which wow. which street? Uh where am I from again? <laughs> Seventy two man. Seventy two. <laughs> Sixty nine. <laughs> Sixty nine street. Oh man. Oh, wait, Sean. Oh, Sean, can I just ask you a personal question here? Uh I'll try my best to give you a a, a good answer. Depends how personal. Uh. If it's it personal. Is this character based off anything like your alter ego or anything that we should know? Yeah, of? Bit... Oh, okay. That's that's gonna be nice to see how you play with this. Yeah. Wow. It, like, like so, when we had the session where we were creating a character, right, I tried yeah. to. Okay, so personally, like when I create characters in games that I play, like, uh, it's always like based on my character. So I used to have like blonde hair, so yeah. which is why. My character has blonde hair as well. Dude, I remember those days. Yeah, I actually remember okay. those days. Yeah, my blonde hair days, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I, I was like No, the, the beard is fake. That's a story. Wait, the one? What? Wait, what? No, no, no. Our characters won't know that, I guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our characters won't know that. Sorry. Was I not supposed to say that, Josh? You can Dude. say anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, yeah, but the beard is... Wait, what were, you, what were you saying? I'm I'm fixing my audio, for some reason it's just like super harsh and I have no idea why. It's not the audio, it's your voice! <laughs> oh shit, mine's harsh as well, bye! <laughs> sounds fine, okay. Ah, see? 
I like how we were all complaining pre-stream that my voice was too soft, but stream seems to think my voice is perfect. Oh man. Oh man. It's weird. Thank you, Zenalk. It's awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> I just hope you can still hear me. What, what were you saying, Sean? Oh, uh, I was saying like, are they supposed to know that my beard is fake? Oof. My beard's fake. Oh, not I'm, this beard, of course. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if, if you want, like, it. I don't think it's particularly important. I mean, I'm looking at your character my... token, right? The, the, the character doesn't match the drip, so like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, let me look at his character. What? He has blonde hair but like black beard. Oh, that yeah, but I, I used to have that. Like, I actually used to have, like, that was the look that I had at one point in my life. Yeah. Except you never wore full red. Ah, uh, yeah. That... Except you never dressed up like a Power Ranger on stage, which you should. No. I you should. That's not happening. It should happen. It's not. Maybe one well, day I'll send you nah, guys Power Ranger nah. suits and you guys can wear it on stream instead. Oh, can I? You know what? Um, I would be down to be the Black Ranger. Oh no! Of course you had to be the Black Ranger, right? You're a freaking Black Gold, man. Oh. Is it Black Gold? It'd be Black Gold, right? Like, oh my. Would you call it artifacts? Or would you call it like trimmings? Black goal. I have no idea what you're talking about. Neither am I. <laughs> Sean gets it. I, I got lost for. We always I, I love wow. Pe people are dishing out them uh, advantages today. Yep. It's good. It's good. Poor, poor, poor bear. Uh, well. Yeah. You see. You see. Tice is right. Like elves can't grow beards. So, if I tell you that I'm an elf, and you see me with a beard. Would you think that my beard is fake? No. My oh, by the way, the world. Brian, did you update the intro? The intro. We have a new intro. Remember. Brian. Did you? Did you? Yeah. We, for the live game, we showed the new intro. Oh. Okay. One. One disadvantage. No, definitely not. It's not updated. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is it uh, does Terriot have any new songs? Okay. Oh wow. Does Terriot have any new songs? Yes we do actually. We have um how many new songs would you say, Sean? Oh. How many songs does Terriot have right oh. now? Twelve. Have we got twelve new songs? Yeah, twelve new songs. Whoa. Yes. I would Why like to write them. Oh. Twelve is a lot. Like, I don't have energy to write songs anymore. You know why we wanted twelve new songs? Why twelve? Because we could space it out in threes, in fours, or in sixes. It's easier for us to meet the target. Boom. Like, okay, twelve. Twelve is a nice number in general. Like, I secretly wish that we counted twelves instead of tens. Like, it's it's so much. It's just divisible by so much more, so many more numbers than ten. No, but tens are so much easier. It's like ten. You know, just keep adding a zero. It's, it's because that's how it's designed, right? Because we had ten fingers, that's how it is. But imagine if we had twelve fingers. Uh, it there's just so much more you can do with twelve as opposed to ten. I know there's some uh, ancient societies that counted with twelves, uh, where they counted the gaps in between the fingers as opposed to the number of fingers. Oh my god! One, two, three, four. That that means wait, huh? That's okay. four. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's, I got eight. Oh, we got raided right before the intro. Great timing. 10 is a beautiful number, but someone rated of 9, and that is still better than 12. 10 and 9 are better than 12. Yes. That's your argument. What's 9 plus 10? To anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hello, That's everyone. Right. All right. Uh, you're just in time for the intro, so I guess uh, let, let's start. Let's start rolling it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Boom.
last time on the Penelope and Islands Void Boys. The party breaks into the Rakshasa Lord's castle and fortress, and they begin to search for the green and red egg gems of great power. They come across a gardener who turns out to be Bolvar's old friend, Angkor Hu. A battle ensues, and the party manages to knock him out. They search the premise and find a map that leads to a secret passage way into the vault where the gems are hidden. As the party enters the vault, the gems begin to fade and Kasrin reveals herself to have been Kasmel Shai this whole time. He has trapped Avra and had intended to lead the party to kill him. Avra attacks the party in his rage and almost kills them. However, Kasmel had weakened him enough that the party was barely able to defeat him. However, the party is banished to another plane. Bolt learns that he was a fragment of the Ocean Bearer, the deity of the ocean, and returns to be with Penelope. The rest of the Void Boys wake up alone and lost in a completely foreign land. Will the party find each other? Will they survive? Will they find a way back home? As per usual, how we dish out experience in this game, and this is the first time for Sean, so uh, we're going to go into a bit of detail on how it works, is you come up with uh, three different goals. Basically, it's a metagaming experience. Come up with uh, things that you want your characters to fulfill uh, over the course of the next couple of sessions. Typically, uh, sometimes you make long-term goals that lasts what, 10, 15 sessions for some of you. Uh, so, just to give you all players some prompts. Right? You all are on a different plane. Uh, you might want to consider uh, finding a way back. Last week we discussed about what's been happening in between that last session and now, like we montaged through it, we did some love letters. So, uh, for instance, uh, Brian, Bolvar wants to change class. That is a perfectly possible goal. Um, I think for Sean, his character is the most complicated. I don't know what Adolamir wants in life. So, you can think of goals that would advance what Adolamir wants to be like. Right? What like what he is now versus what he wants to be in the future. And stuff like that. Um Demaya, for instance, you have uh we know that you have consumed uh humanoid flesh. So you are you have taken one step towards becoming an Aswan creature. A monster. Uh, Moku, uh, Mo uh, Moku has Moku is the easiest, so like we'll, we'll deal with that when we get to there. Anyone what? have like a set of goals that, uh, one or two goals that you can think of? Get out of the void. Uh, You're not in the void. Not the plane. Okay, get out of the okay, uh, plane. Get back. Get back to uh, uh, the Penelope Islands. Yo. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um. I want to find Sean, out. if you need more prompts, just let me know. I want to find out about... I, I, didn't, uh, I mean, I'm going to be lost, so I think I just want to find what happened to my team. My void boys. Okay, okay. And then the last one is... I mean, I'm going to map that game here. I'm going to say I want to find out about Adolamir's beard. Find out about Adolamir's beard? I'm a very curious creature. Yes. Okay. Sorry. So, Sorry. find out about your team, find out about Adolamir's beard, and... And get out of the chroma plane. Get, get out of the chroma... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so you're doing the same one. Okay. Yeah. Sean, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna shave that beard off. I was about, I was about to say something very rude. And then, like, I forgot. <laughs> I, go for I literally was, like, about to go for it, and then I was like, okay. <laughs> go for it, man. Run. Don't don't you have the courage, man? Go for it. This is probably my last session if I say anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, type it, type it in. Uh, Bovar, do you have any uh, ideas? I, I think firstly I want to find out why Bo Bovar want to find out where, why he's in the Kuma plane, who put him there, etc. Uh... All right. Uh, closure with Nal. If, if that's even gonna happen. So it doesn't have to be peaceful closure. It, it can be even like, like we pissed off or whatever, as long as there is some form of closure. Okay. I see you smiling, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, do you have any ideas as well? 
Um, uh, we I can have, have don't worry, we can have a discussion, so like, uh, don't worry too much about it. Okay, because I have some idea. Kind of like, um, because I don't know what the story like at this point of time, so it's gonna be tough for me to like make proper goals. But I guess I could make like some short term goals for now. Mm-hmm. And I think one of one of the short term goals that I want is to definitely. Um, wait, can I can I make goals that are not uh, aligned with the story? Yeah. Okay. Cool. There's yeah. no story. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, as in I, I okay. I kind of wanna find a way to pump up my charisma. Oh, find a way to pump up. Yeah, that's that, that's a possible goal. Yeah, that's, I think that's one thing that um, I'm just I just don't like the number that I'm looking at. To be honest. <laughs> 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 it's a uh, six eight five. Eight. Oh, hey, wow, hey. he plus three. Nice. Yeah, he, he plus three to it. Yeah. Good on you. Good on you, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think another goal that I would love is to see my character make some amazing moves with, uh, with like, you know, attributes that I have. Okay, like, like, um, let's make it a bit more specific. Like, let's say you can do this, right? If you make an attack, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, before you make the attack, you can tell me you want to do it in a cool way. You want to do an acrobatics maneuver. I'll let you make an acrobatics check or an mm-hmm. athletics check, depending. Right? Yeah. And then I'll yeah. give you advantage on the next attack. So that makes it flashy. So, yeah, like flashy moves. That's totally possible. Mm, yeah, okay. I think I will. I definitely want to try using at least so 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 for that like the number of flashy moves you do for this episode will determine how much f uh how, how much experience you get Ooh. all right that's it yeah so you need to do a couple to make it like yeah. more like exp okay all right cool. and then the uh do you have one last goal um oh i can't think of something man and chat how yeah, do you yeah. There, um, uh, Moku and Bovar still have uh, still have goals. It's based yeah, I, can, goals. I can go first. So like, I have one more, right? Uh, ensure the green flame aesthetic sticks with like, whatever new stuff he gets, like new powers, new like equipment or whatever. Yeah. Ensure that the, did you just call Bovar the green flame. Yeah, the green flame aesthetic. <laughs> ensure that the green flame has statistics. A- 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 aesthetic. Oh, aesthetic. 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 Aesthetics. And aesthetics. And aesthetic. Okay. Moku. Yo. You have mushrooms on your body? Yo. You have a family? Yo. I don't know where to go from there. What do I do? I yeah, see. like you, you wanna, you wanna get back. Uh, you can think about getting rid of the, getting rid of the family. mushrooms. You can think about <laughs> the trip. You can think about getting rid of the family if you want. Do you want to be right? kind of evil? Uh, you you can think about finding out someone who knows about how to get back. All right, someone who knows how to plane shift or something like that uh you are you are in a place with a lot of angels so you you can say kill five to ten angels or something like that uh um yeah no, i mean yeah there's some there those are all different prompts that we can branch I, off from. i would like to start harvesting some micronids would that be cannibalism there are no myconids here, though. Oh, they're just mushrooms? They're not myconids? Yeah. Yeah, they're mushrooms growing on you. And, like, when you try to... Oh. Like, I'll let you know now. If you if you try to... Whenever you try to cut them off, it hurts. Like, you bleed, dude. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna look for... Find a way to get rid of the mushrooms. Okay. Um, you know, also, you you specifically, Moku, have lived here enough that 
uh, you know that there's like different uh, factions within the government here, right? Um, and they closely resembled 12 gods from the Penelopean Islands, right? And you haven't met any of your friends in a while, right? Uh, yeah. What else do you want Moku to be besides when you go back, right? Besides being older, what 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 is a new Moku like? Your goal, you dream for what Moku would be like. And you know what I'm thinking? Moku has become more peaceful and he's gonna like just stop raging as much. It's like really rare to for him to rage. So Okay, okay. Uh I mean this is this is a grounds for a potential uh, class shift as well. Yeah, right. You don't rage as much. Which maybe right? we could speak about because I don't know. I have to go look through the classes. Yeah. Uh, fight with less rage. Yeah, yeah. Fight with less rage. Right. All right. So, so if you if you complete a couple of battles without without raging, then it'll be a certain amount of experience. But half my powers from raging, more than half. True that. True that. Uh, I, I have an idea. Uh, but by, by the way, Sean, you still have one more goal. Uh, I have an idea for Moku, but uh, we'll talk about it like outside of stream. Uh, that being said, optional rule. Uh, because you are thirty years older, do you want to apply aging rules? Okay, what does that entail? Uh, you can increase your intelligence and wisdom. At the cost of decreasing uh, your con strength or dexterity. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, it really depends on where I'm going, what I'm going for after this. So. Yeah. We can we can decide later. Yeah. Can can these uh, changes apply like once I step out of the plane? Uh. Yeah. 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 That's totally possible as well. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, Ad Ad Adolamir, do you have uh, one last call? Yes. Um, make you. I, I wanna at least use my spellbook once in this game. Spellbook? Is in whatever I have in my spellbook. You have one spell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll use. I wanna use it. Use booming blade once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right. So, Bolvar, find out why you're in the Chrono Plane. Uh, find some form of closure of null. Ensure that the green flame has anesthetic. Demaya Jakaris, find out about his team. Find out about Dolomir's beard. Uh, get out of the Chrono Plane. Mukuraho, get back to the Penelope Islands. Find a way to get rid of the mushrooms. Fight with less rage. Adolomir Devalu. Uh, find a way to pump your charisma. Uh, see that uh, Adol can make some flashy moves, and use Booming Blade at least once. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, give me a second. To change the music. Ooh, showtime. We Sorry. are in the common plane. So I, I actually want to start off, uh, with character introductions for a bit right uh, I'm gonna change to this song right uh, I, because people may be meeting your characters for the first time right just just for example basically all, all you need to say is what your class is what your species race ancestry is and what is your PC's favorite color <laughs> so uh, let, let's start with like uh, Bovar Favorite color, obviously green. Bovar, <laughs> which is why I want to ask Bovar first. <laughs> Bovar's favorite color is uh, green. Currently, you are classless. Uh, yeah, yeah, classless. All right, you're in between classes right now. Uh, you only have access to your uh, cantrips. And what what is your what is your species? And what like you can tell a little bit more about the. Uh, the fur bogs. Yeah, sure. So, so the bova yeah. is a fur bog, and uh, 
fur box at least I guess where where the, the tribe that uh, Bova is from is like a mountainous small rural nomadic uh, group of people so he left uh, his group of people a long time ago to pursue civilization modernity you know coming to the Penelope Islands first as a merchant so yeah simple journey to sell fur has become what it is today <clears throat> Yeah, fur books are not common in the Penelope yeah. Islands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's go with Demaya Dracaris, because I have a feeling I know what Demaya's favorite color is. Like. Yeah, it was either black or red, so like. Yeah. Now she loves. What, black. What's your? What's Demaya's class and species? Um, I'm a tiefling, feral tiefling, to be more exact, and, wow. Well, I kind of ask one blood hunter. Guessing I'm bending towards the. I, I'm technically a blood hunter, but I think I'm gonna change over time. Like, my alignment to which one I might end up being slowly. Mm -hmm. I hope. Or I hope not. Okay, actually, coming back to the color, right? Some days I like black, some days I like white. Some days I think I'm pure as hell. Some days I think and I'm. And on just... Wednesdays, you wear pink. <laughs> <laughs> In between that is not for your characters to know okay 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 this is for me and my characters to know what color i wear okay, uh, okay. Uh, bear uh, but yeah okay uh, but but what but are you done i'm feeling black i'm feeling, oh, today black. You're feeling black okay okay uh, that's great to know thanks man <laughs> okay hi so i play moku raho moku's uh he's a barbarian He's a half orc, mole totem bar barbarian. He's uh, he has purple skin, but his favorite colors are light shade of blue. Um, I hope I've never talked about my favorite color before because I can't find my notes after changing computers. But um, I just hope <laughs> that um, I've never talked about a favorite color, so I'm assuming that it is light blue. Um. The thing about Moku, his, his, his story so far, he's a little bit like a trolly, fun, angry at times, really strong barbarian. But I think uh, in today's episode, you'll see him progress into an older, an older half-orc. And he's probably become calmer, more peaceful. So that's Moku. Oh, he, he yeah. used, used to jump a lot. I don't know if he still does. We'll find out. Can you? Oh, okay. I, I have an idea, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Maybe his, his uh, knees will hurt. <laughs> Adolomir, what do you want to tell the players about Adolomir? Hi, my name is Adolomir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rogue thief. Um... Um, I'm a high elf, ugly. That's all I can say for now. But well, what's Adolomir's favorite color? High elf, uh, red. Red. Yeah. What is your weapon cool. of choice? Um, am I allowed to say that? I'm how, how, about, I mean, how about when you meet you, the Maya, you you show it to the Maya, attack, attack, attack the Maya, you attack her with. with it. It. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go, man. I'm down here for some PvP right now, eh? Next thing I okay. know, I get out of the band tomorrow. Um, Not uh, yet. Just, just to give the players uh, a bit of a heads up, right? I think Moku is relatively far removed from the other three players. So I want to start with a bit of Moku action first, right? So... Moku, you you ended up in this cave, right? Where you panicked and you started digging out with your pickaxe. How, how did you find the village? Um, I would say that Moku found the first stream of water, like a river, and he started walking um, with the flow of the current. And I would assume that would lead me to some sort of civilization mm -hmm. eventually. Right. Pretty wise. Uh, we, we agreed oh, oh. that we agreed that it's some kind of village. 
Yeah. Oh wait, I just want to say occasionally while walking, Moku jumps up just to look around, you know? Just for mm-hmm. some Moku flavor. Um, yeah, that works, right? Like 30 feet up in the air, you can definitely see stuff. Um, c- could you explain uh, how you met your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to turn a sitcom or...? <laughs> um... Yeah, Just... like... Did you swipe right? <laughs> no, there's, there's no swipe right feature. Did you dig in... right? <laughs> Heaven, heavenly, heavenly Tinder or something like that. <laughs> they don't have, they don't have that here, right? Uh, yeah, she's most probably someone who uh, works in the village. Uh, what baker, librarian, uh, yeah, farmer. I, I'm picturing like uh, Moku. He he gradually becomes more into like farming, and uh, she happen. His his wife happens to be like. Probably a gatherer who who worked somewhere nearby, not too far away. But you know that they, 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 they just happen to see each other on occasions. Would would it have would you would you have started dating within the first year of meeting, or was it like over a long period of time? No, it has to be really long? long because it's not Moku's style to go in immediately. You know, he's not that. He's not oh, like that. A slow guy, eh? Extremely slow. This so, like, maybe okay. after three years of dating, he uh, held her hands. It's <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> but you made ten kids. Dude, Moku's almost fifty. Don't worry. You made ten kids. They they could years. They they could have. Oh my god, we're settling with ten. I thought it was a joke from last stream. <laughs> no. I, I mean, we haven't confirmed the number, but we know you have kids, plural, two minimum. Make it ten. Make them count. <laughs> I'm gonna have to name all ten, you know. <laughs> <laughs> i give you names. Okay, well, I'll think of names later. They'll probably be like one to ten in a, a language that I don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, it's... Um, is your wife like more humanoid? Uh, there are like rakshasa, which are like cat, cat. Uh, I mean, they're actually different animals, so it could be any animal head technically. Um, uh, and sorry, or, uh, really, a fellow really half orc or orc. Uh, no, she, she the the wife would be human, human. Okay, okay. Yeah, and um, because Moku's really tall, his, his wife's. Um, Fairly short, so like you see a massive. And then the contrast. kids are all like are all in between. Yeah, yeah, probably the um, yeah, yeah. They're probably ten some kids. taller than Moku. Yeah, <laughs> ten, it's like ten, ten kids. Yeah, yeah seems. Uh, so, so we need to start making a three quarter orc, uh, a three quarter uh, a quarter orc uh, race homebrew race quarter orc. Case. Yeah, <laughs> would do. Who wants to do a spin-off? Everyone can take... We can find 10 players. Each one can be one kid. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, writing that down as an idea. I'm, I'm coming yeah. up with too many spin-offs. We need to calm down. <sighs> then, uh, what happens... That what, what happens to you that you realize that you don't belong here? Yeah, that's, I, that's a relatively hard question. All right, is it a sudden recall that I can't be here? This isn't where I belong. Did I, think... I send you the Adventure Time episode? I, I, I feel like that that was a yeah. thing, right? So I, I think it's more of probably one day. He now he's already in his fifties. He's just uh, sitting down, chilling, and he's watching the sun go down. I assume there's one sun. Um, he's watching the sun go go down, and he he starts realizing how peaceful it is, mm-hmm. and that unnerves him. That's that's where he starts realizing, shit, it's been thirty years. This is too peaceful. Why have I not realized this before? 
Mm-hmm. And that's where he starts thinking. And then the eldest kid is like 28, uh, 25, 26. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> I mean, assuming, assuming, yeah, you start having kids like immediately after. Uh, no, like, three years to least... hold hands. Uh, probably another five years to get married. So I'd say the oldest kid would be twenty. Okay, twenty. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I, I don't know. I didn't think Moku to be the uh, uh, slow and steady type. Uh, um, that's that's an interesting. That's an interesting. Uh, discovery that we've made it's, about it's him today. not so much about him being slow and steady it's about him being really bad at relationships okay yeah okay yeah. makes sense makes sense maybe, maybe um yeah so like um yeah you realize this one day right your montage basically through your entire 30 year journey right uh we we shift over to the mine. Oh, For sorry. you, can I add a little yeah. bit of flavor? Yeah, yeah. So so before he sits down and looks at the sunset, right? What you see is him. He, he it's basically like okay, the camera angles like just panning on me, on Moku. You see um his pickaxe, right? It's uh, dug into the ground. So. Uh, the side that's showing, you see the tr- the regular pickaxe, which is sharp and, you know, the whole blood tooth pickaxe shape. But when he lifts it out of the ground to set it aside, you see the other side's flat. It's become like a hole. Ah, so that... Because he farms. Yeah, so he's basically converted half the pickaxe into a hole. That's, that's okay. just the flavor I wanted to add, yeah. Just like over the years, you slowly chip yeah. away at after many okay. years yeah interesting interesting so uh the, the next person i want to shift over to is demaya mm-hmm. right uh we discussed that you would be spending a year in the forest oh demaya is glitching for me whoa yeah. oh, look look at the look heck? at it whoa <laughs> so like <laughs> is that demaya's <laughs> new powers Friends, this is D&D, not Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wrong game, wrong game, wrong stream. Yeah. So, like, uh, you you, you had spent a year here, right? Mm-hmm. What what humanoid did you eat? Wow. Just... And I'm why, sure. if there's a reason? One of Moku's kids. <laughs> no, no, I did not do that. Uh, I think one, I was super alone. I was missing everyone. I think I was slowly losing myself that I might have made the wrong choice of going after the Rakshasa. I think I just started questioning everything like, was this worth it? Or am I dead? Or am I alive? And I was super hungry and no meat seem to satisfy anything any cravings i had but i think that was once i just started um i started sleeping on trees actually i stopped sleeping on the ground so then i think that was once that i just happened to see a traveler on the road or something like and then yeah just happened you know just one two three i just swapped in i, I just swept in i think I held him a prisoner for a few days as I was contemplating on what to do with him and then I just dug straight into Oh, I think we've had this question before, right? You have three choices, right? Are you a blood drinker, a yeah. flesh eater, or a viscera sucker? I think I was a viscera sucker, right? Was that? No, right, I so was you not. eat, you, you consume like the innards uh okay but I, I think i like blood more yeah i definitely okay. would say blood a lot more but then i was hungry so, like i started digging into him and the more he bled the more i was happy about it i like bathing myself in the blood um started taking out his intestines and squeezing the life out of them and just drinking the body out like a straw Cracked his skull open and dug into his brains. Yep. 
and then I buried the body right after. Like really, like went deep and buried it. Then I washed you're, myself. You're, you're lucky that your skin is red. Oh, yeah. Okay. So even like, so like stains of blood are are not clear until they've dried up. So imagine just one year of Demaya like this, right? Like, um, you over over time you will you will strip off the unnecessary. Um, like metallic parts of your armor so that it's lighter, it's easier to clean. Uh, like, clean, I, I don't know, you can you can tell me, like, cleaning up after yourself, doesn't. it's not really important anymore. No, I think right? it still is. Like, to me, I think hygiene is still, like, up there. I'm, I'm a, like, this body... Stay near the river, right? Yeah, I, I was still near the river area. It's like, like, to me, like, hygiene was, like, the most important thing. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I I think for like the first couple of months, I did try eating fish. And then, uh, yeah, cleaning your blade, and you're barely surviving, right? You, that was the first time you've ever felt so satisfied. And would you have stopped there? Yeah, I because after that, I felt I I started feeling like I was changing, and not for the better. Uh, I think mm-hmm. this happened around. I mean, if you want to give it like a timeline, first month I was alone. The uh, next two months I was contemplating. Third month, I did my kill, and it's been nine months since I've had human taste. I think like a few months in, and like I started controlling the urge. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, and I think like the biggest setback would be I think there's one someone was walking near by or something tripped and fell. Uh, bones broke and then like I could see straight like the muscle and you know everything hanging out delicious delicious blood spilling out and mm. I did not want to eat him I actually helped him out it was a nice one but after he left I was really contemplating on just taking the floor for the blood that's how much of a druggy oh, I, I, I I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited to see Demaya's like uh Progression into a into a full fully fledged asphalt at this rate. Uh huh. Yeah. Very. I I think I honestly think uh, as it, at this point right, it's if you're going to give the opportunities and my character cannot take it, she will just give in. She doesn't want to, right. but I think there's going to be a point of time where she just clicks to the opposite side and she's gone. Let's okay. Hope. Um. So. And then we we shift back to uh, Bovar, right? You are in this cave. You're the only one of the the three who have been here before, right? Between you, Moku, and Demaya, you're the only one who has seen this place before. And uh, I I don't know if it's fear or confusion, but you are actually physically here this time. That's the only difference, right? What what is like your initial reaction? Uh, honestly, I think the first thing he'll do, he'll do is to like look out where his friends, you know. Uh, I think he kind of grasp with uh, like like like. I think it will take some time to recuperate and like like to think like what just happened. Uh, whether there's still immediate danger. Where are his friends? You start looking for everyone. Uh, spend probably the first few hours looking for the people, uh, for his friends, and then uh. He would, I guess, move on to look for civilization, if he can. Mm-hmm. So, a, cu- a couple of, I would say, a couple of hours into roaming around these cavernous area, this cavernous area, right? You realize that it seems to be shifting, right? Mm-hmm. That's the only reason why you keep getting lost over and over again. Every time you keep track of one path, and then you're like, okay, this is a dead end. You go back, the path changes, mm-hmm. right? However, at one point. You do see this uh, golden elk, right? Uh, and then it motions to you as if it wants you to follow it, right? And it, it, you can tell me if you choose to reject it the first time or you choose to follow it straight away. I follow from a far distance. Yeah. I'm cautious. Uh, it, it never turns at a point where you can't see it. So you can constantly see it, right? Uh, if it's a sharp angle, it'll make sure that its antler or a bit of its tail can be seen so that 
uh, you never lose it. Eventually, uh, you follow it, and then you see uh, a bright light, and you exit out of the cavern, and you just see this massive forest with uh, trees of all different kinds of colors, like they're pink leaves, violet leaves, red, purple, green, of, of course, the normal leaves. Um, even some trees that have black and white leaves or gray leaves. And then uh, you see the elk run into the forest and then it disappears. Right? So it has been a couple of hours. Um, how would you explore? I think probably to start, like, Bova will just sprint off and start trying to run after the elk. Okay. Yeah. And so he'll probably so, run around aimlessly, like, trying to look for the elk for a good a few, a few hours, probably. So, um, as, as you run through the forest, eventually you lose track of it. You can't seem to find it. Now, let's fast forward a bit, right? Like, you are surviving through the forest a couple of days, um, what what is the first encounter between Bovar and Adolamir like? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, like so both of you are just living in the forest. So, so has Bovar seen any other human, uh, or rather any? Oh other no, human? no. For like two yeah, days, it's three days. animals. Uh, you've been foraging like crazy. I think it's probably a mix of like relief and like. Knowing that there are, there's probably civilization, that, that there are people here. Uh, mm -hmm. Mixed between that and caution. Yeah. Yeah, so so if he sees a Dolomir, I guess from from far away, he'll probably stop a Dolomir. If he sees him first, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, make a stealth check. Yeah, sure. First roll oh, yeah. of the arc. Oh no. <laughs> It might show how the rest of this episode is going to go. rest of this arc is going to go. Oh, yeah. 11? It's going to be average. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have an uh... average arc. Uh, uh, Adolamir, what is your perception check? Oh, your perception. So just 10 plus your perception. Your passive perception. Yeah. Um... Sorry, can you repeat that? I, I didn't understand. Uh, your passive perception is just 10 plus your perception score. So uh, what's your perception? So it's in your attributes, uh, the skills on the left hand side. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, 14 plus 4. Uh, no, it'll be 10 plus 4. 10 plus 4, sorry. Yeah, I got it. So it's, uh, it's 14. So with with a 14, uh, it does beat an 11. So at one point, you do notice this tall blue fellow with pink hair uh, hiding behind the trees, stalking you from behind. Yeah. How, how would you react to that? So, first of all, when I notice this, this um, I notice Bova. Um, I've never seen a creature like that before. So very possible. Um, yeah, I've never seen a creature like that before. So obviously, I'm shocked, and I'm in defense mode. But I do not attack yet. I would like to ask this creature what are you? What am I? Who are you? My name is Bovar. Oh, we're doing voices, okay. <laughs> no, uh, optional. Yeah, optional, <laughs> optional. Okay. But Bovar has, a, Bovar has a voice, yeah. What are you? Oh, I'm a... My name is Bovar, I'm a, I'm a furball. What you, is that? You've probably never seen one, huh? Uh, where are people? Far from here, I think. Where are we? We're in the coma plane, right? Yeah, where are we actually? Where are we actually? Like, for for Adolamir, like, calling your area the coma plane sounds weird. Okay. You're like, to you, I'm, I'm just in, like, yeah. the rainbow forest, like, whatever, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't know this, like, that this is called a rainbow forest. It's just like. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so I, I would tell, I would, I would tell you that this is the rainbow forest. Mm. 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 Yeah. So, uh, 
like where are you going and what 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 are you looking for honestly i have no idea um is there a town nearby yes there is it's the town that i was from huh. would you like me to bring you there yeah um that'd be great to be honest uh, um near near is an understatement <laughs> it is a couple of days away uh, Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> okay. How far? How far is the town? Yeah, it's like it's a couple of days. We're looking at two to three days. Okay. Um, we could take a trip for a few days because uh, I I would like to go there. I would like to go back to the town as well. Yeah, if you if you can follow me, if you don't if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll just follow you then. Okay. Uh, what's your name? I'm Ed Dolomir. Say it, uh, have you seen on. my have you seen my type my kind of people before? Elves, yeah. Plenty of you guys where I'm from. Okay. Nice. And then we make our way to the town. Yeah. Then we just like so I, I'm very curious because I've never seen a creature like this before. So I'm just asking him questions like what exactly are you like where were you born from and yeah, this kind of questions are. I'll say Boba is probably like a bit like weirded out by a dollar mirror. Because even though <laughs> even though in the Penelope Islands there are barely any four books, people generally know that four books are a race. <laughs> so like, he's gonna yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like he's gonna just hang He's gonna entertain because I, this guy is bringing him to so called civilization, but he's still being very cautious. Yeah. And I'm I'm just imagining that there are a lot of like awkward conversations yeah. along the way. <laughs> like, and the guy just asking all the questions and just like excited. <laughs> How's the weather? <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I mean, like, <laughs> I pee in pool just like you. <laughs> For Bulbar, right? Like, the the thing that about this forest that is super weird is that they're just the trees are just wrong. All right, the colors are wrong. The type of tree suddenly there's like a, a palm tree in the middle of the forest, mm-hmm. you know, like that kind of thing. Uh. Then there's like a, like it's in the wrong weather, right? And it's just so random. There's a tree with no leaves, uh, but it seems livelier than the tree with with bright green leaves for some reason. Mm-hmm. So it, it's very uncomfortable, right? Because it's not familiar, I would say, as you travel through this region. Um, I would say about one day in, you're traveling with Adolomir. If you haven't already, everyone, please uh, click in your long rest, right? Just in case. Double check, right? If you haven't already. Uh, Don't worry about Adolomir. He's a new character. Everything's full. So, (laughs) yeah. Uh, But everyone else, uh, click on long, long rest. So, yeah. Uh... One of the days, right, there's this massive flame that begins descending from the sky, right? Uh, Adolomir, you are unafraid of this. You immediately know that this is just, oh, this is just another angel passing by, gonna say hi, Chanana. That's, that's the vibe that you're getting, right? But for Bolvar, you're seeing a literal burning ring descending from the sky with a massive eye in the middle uh we're talking about like 10 feet diameter which is like uh two meters wide two and a half meters wide right it begins descending and then it blinks uh the one eye winks i guess and looks at adolomir Good evening, citizen. What are you doing so far away from home? It says to Adolomir. Okay. Uh, we are making our way back to the town. To, uh, as in, I'm going back to the town because that's where people I know are. And uh, Bova, 
is lost and he wants to find a town and we... to reside in. I'm Bovar. The, the wheel just turns and like stares at Bovar for a moment. And then it, you see it like tilt as if it's trying to process what you are. Mm -hmm. You do not belong here, fair bulg. Well, um, I guess that's pretty obvious, huh? Y y do you know how I can get back to where I'm from? Yes. And then you see the flames begin burning brighter. Great. Uh, which way then? Death. <laughs> uh huh. Boba's gonna stick a couple steps back and like <laughs> he's gonna be he's prepared to run. Okay. Yeah. You're prepared to run. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't have any spells. <laughs> yeah, it's a burning freaking wheel, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh. It it will try, it will try to attack you. Alright. Um. Let's say you kept your distance, right? Yeah, definitely. It has to. Oh no, no! It can shoot a wheel at you. So you see it begin to spin, mm -hmm. and then it, uh, this wheel flies at you. Uh, did okay. it roll? I don't know. It's a uh, not not dexterity saving throw. Oh okay. It's, uh... Oh yeah, you do need to make a dexterity saving throw. You're right. Okay. Twenty hits. You take nine damage. All right. Yeah. Uh, but you you failed. You failed the save, mm -hmm. so you teleport to it. Oh god. Okay. It's a. Uh... Can can you make an Arcana check or religion check? Arcana, uh, kind of sure. Nineteen. Okay, with nineteen, uh, you would know that this creature is called. Uh, a throne. So a throne is a type of angel. Um, one of the things they're known for is to collect uh, criminals. Right. Or creatures that shouldn't be in this plane. Right. So we're going with we're going with barbecue time. Uh, so let's let's roll for initiative. Oh, uh, let me pull you all in. Just the three of us, right? Uh, as in, just me and Adolomir. Just you and Adolomir for oh, now. Right. Oh my god, Sean's first battle! Oh yeah! So cute! Yeah, yeah. And someone's gonna die. Wait, hold on, let me just... I'm frozen, but okay. Give me a sec. Initiative. Uh... Mm -hmm. Sapping sting. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, yeah, hang on, give me a sec. Because my OBS is... Alright, I'm back, alright, hey. It's pretty dark. Mm hmm. Nice. Oh, do I have to roll? 
Do I have to roll at disadvantage? Because... No, because I'm right in front of this guy. Range disadvantage, yeah. What? What the heck? I can hear him. Oh, okay, okay. We're back? As in, like, on, on, on OBS? Yeah. This OBS yeah. yeah. It's weird. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, you have to roll at disadvantage because it's uh, five within five feet. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, you do hit. Okay, let me just check. The marge would be two dots. Alright, ten. Oof. Not bad. Okay, so, um, what does your spirit dart look like? Yeah. You have to roll with the element as well, right? Uh, the element would be. The environment. Basically, it's based on the environment that I'm in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So since you're since you are in this air. Oh man, this is so weird because you are in the coma plane, yeah. right? I would say you can choose between, uh, rock, vine, and water. Uh, rock for sure. Okay, so force force damage. Yeah. Uh, Sam's into it. Dealing uh, 10 damage. What does your spirit dart look like? Uh, joints. Basically, yeah. you know, they bundle up joints. And then, yeah. and then it, it flies, it turns into a, a, a rockish joint yeah. that smashes into this flaming ring. Uh, do you have a bonus action? No, I don't. Uh, a Dolomir. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so you have an action? And a bonus action and a movement. Uh, this ring is currently attacking your new friend of one day. Uh, to you, it's very weird that it's attacking anyone. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So it it would be reasonable that you would attack it back for this new friend that you have. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so sorry, I got one action, one bonus action. Yeah, one bonus. Yep, and you can move. I can move. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, so um, some of the things that you can do. Uh, I mm -hmm. think the most basic thing you can do is use your crossbow because that's like your thing. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Okay, I'm gonna use my hand crossbow. Howard. All right. So go ahead and click the picture of the hand crossbow, and it'll appear in chat. Such a wimp. Using a crossbow. Wait, wait, wait. I'm very confused. So I need to click on the... The image of the, cross image of the crossbow. Wait. It'll turn into a dice. It'll turn into a die when you hover oh, over okay. it. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Then in chat, click on attack. Attack? Yeah. Advantage or...? Uh, normal, normal. Oh, normal, okay. Nice. 18. 18 hits, so now you click on damage. Damage. Normal, right? Yes, normal as well. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, so five damage. Uh, as a bonus action, you can choose to shoot again, uh, or you can hide. Uh, sh shoot again. All right, same thing. So you just yeah, click the crossbow, yeah. attack, normal, damage, normal. Attack, normal. If it hits, a 15 just hits, so go ahead and roll for damage. Damage. Normal. Seven. Seven damage. All right. Um, this creature uh, turns to you, Adolamir, and uh, it says, "Do not involve yourself. This is the problem for the higher ups." Uh, you can choose to move still, by the way. Um. I move closer to the creature. All right, uh, you can move up to thirty feet. So if you press Control and drag your token, okay, uh, you can see the distance. So it's twenty feet, but how close do you want to get? Mm, the wait, how did I... so I click on Control and then oh, okay, got it, I got it. And you can press Space Bar to automatically move. Yeah. I close. Alright. Oh, by the way, 
because Bovar is next to the creature, you do have sneak attack. So go ahead and click on your sneak attack option as well. I I'm confused. I click or yeah, you can click on sneak attack. Oh, okay. It should be in your features. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I found it. So press roll for sneak attack, and I click damage, right? Uh, yes. Just click on damage. Oh no. Okay. And ten damage. Oh, sneak attack is so scary. Uh, yeah. So. It, it seems visibly frustrated that you are attacking it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is going to attempt to hurt Bovar even more. Oh no, so you are currently uh, in range with it. It starts spinning around you uh, with a tag called Radiant Burn. I don't like that. Uh, because you are you failed the deck save right so you are uh, grappled uh it will just spin Ooh, that was a good roll all right meanwhile you hear flapping in the distance huh. demaya can you yes. make can you roll for initiative as well oh Oh, wow. Okay. And then we'll see where, where you are in the initiative order. Wait, they heard flapping? Yeah, like wings flapping. Oh, they'll probably see a giant chicken coming out of the sky. <laughs> uh. I don't know, it's like bat wings with a bit of feathers. It's like somewhere in between reptilian. It's chicken wings. Uh, I a bit the oh okay finally I see it. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> uh yeah you you are I would say you you managed to reach uh around here you're obviously flying already. Um, let's go with Bolvar. You are grappled by this creature. You see your friend flying towards you. Shut up. Demaya! Demaya! Do I see that? Do I see I... that Demaya this... kills what? me? Yeah. Okay. Like, I think the Maya, the moment you saw the in the distance, the moment you saw the flame and you saw this blue creature, you just start flying. Mm -hmm. Uh, grappled, right? Shucks, this sucks. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, Adolamir, you're on deck, so think of what you want to do. Uh, Firebolt then. Okay. Firebolt. Wait, it's also it's burnt. It's, is it, is it, does it look like it's burning? Like it's fire, made of fire. Yeah, it's a literal wheel of fire. Okay, now uh, then maybe spirit that then. <laughs> oh, uh, 14? 14 just misses. Oh, God. Alright. I am going to. Use my bonus action, hidden step. So I'll go invisible. All right. Yeah. So you your 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 skin uh, disappears. Uh, even you're within the grapple of this creature. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like the camera pans to the vision of the creature. Like we see you disappear, and it pans to the vision of the creature. Or can you make an arcana check or religion check? Does he have? Oh my god, net one. Oh, you have no idea, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you think that your hidden step works, and then we pan, uh, like the camera pans into the vision of the celestial, and he just sees your glowing outline. Oh god, okay. Adolamir. Yes. Um, I'm gonna use my dagger of returning to attack the creature again. Are you gonna throw it? Yes, I'm gonna throw it with us ends. Uh, you you can you can throw it you can throw it twice like you can throw um, as an action and as a bonus action so don't worry about it. Okay. So. So I roll for dagger right? Yep. Roll for dagger attack. 
Normal. Oh no, first one misses, goes wide. Uh, do I press attack again? Oh damn it. Uh you 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 missed with you missed with the attack, so you don't need to roll for damage. Uh okay. if you're gonna throw I believe you can throw oh, as okay. a as a bonus action, right? Yeah. Uh Yeah, you, with your other hand you can you can throw uh, another dagger. Okay, so I tr so I attack again, right? Yeah. Okay, attack again, normal. Oh man, the daggers ain't working, right? You th throw them both, they miss. Uh, you can still move. Um. Okay, I'm gonna move like closer to the creature. All right. What What is your intent be behind moving closer to um, it? Um, to attack it with a rapier. All right. So yeah. it, it, it sees that you are also being uh, offensive towards it, right? Mm -hmm. It warns you one more time to back off, uh, and then it shoots yet another uh, burning wheel at you. Uh, I already have to roll at disadvantage, so I'm gonna roll disadvantage. Ooh, holy shit! Oh, thank god. What? How, how, do, how do you dodge it? How does Adolomir dodge the, this flying wheel, burning wheel that's thrown at you? Uh, I like step step away, like I run away kind of thing. Are, are you more of like of a side stepper or an acrobat? Uh, acrobat kind of a dodger. But you gotta yeah. like backflip over it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Moonwalk, moonwalk, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally just like. See the thing coming and just like, like a side flip. I just like, woo! Yeah, yeah side flip. And then, uh, Demaya, it is your turn. Um, oof. okay. Uh, how many feet up am I? Uh, I would say you're anywhere between twenty and thirty feet. Okay, can. Like that's a good uh, that's a good distance to keep away from yeah. from the trees. Oh yeah, I think yeah around here. I should be fine. Uh, I think this whole time, right? I'm still talking to myself like Bo is with me. This one does nothing. Yes, brother. Yes. Hi. Oh, who's that friend? Friend? What? Huh? Oh, like Agnes confused. and Roderick are still with you. Yeah. I, I still think like a part of me has Agnes and Roderick. And I still think about how Bo talks to himself. I still think about how Bova talks to himself and Moku is. And I'm, like, Technically, Bo talks in third person though. He doesn't talk to himself. Yeah. So he. Yeah. So technically, he's talking to himself. Boom. See? Boom. Long bow twice. Put this map up. Boom. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, that doesn't hit. Fourteen misses. Oh wait, I do have one advantage. Are you using it? Yeah. I'll, I'll use it now. So, this one doesn't hit. Uh, I'll just roll one more. Ah, oh, oh, nice! Natty, natty. Good so, one. So, uh, for, for Sean, when you roll a natural 20, that's when you roll for critical damage. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so that's what um, the Maya's gonna do now. Very anti but yeah, I'm, I'm, it's, still, it's still eleven damage, right? It's still eleven damage. Um, yeah, it shoots. Uh, you sh uh, you shoot the crossbow. It strikes this creature. Uh, you see it glare towards you. And then there's this like light that faces you, right? One of the things you didn't notice is that this light radiates in a like a specific direction. Uh, for a moment, you blink a bit, the Maya, and then you hear the voice go. You should really not be here either. Uh, my bonus action. I shall. Oh, I shall start doing weird things right now. I will actually. I will transform. All right, cool beans. Uh, it'll be the halfway aswang like in creature. Yes. Right. E Boom. Okay. Yeah, boy. 
Bolvar. No, 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 sorry, I'm talking about something saying spirit up again. Nice. Hmm. Oh, both hit, both hit. Yeah. Nice, nice. And uh, two, right? Sorry, no, just one, because I'm disadvantaged. Rolling at disadvantage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Uh,. Like, now, now I'm just imagining, instead of you shooting the dart, right? Because you're right in its face. You're like making the dart appear in your hand and you're just <laughs> smashing it. <laughs> and you just see these rocks explode in its... In what you would guess is its eye, its face, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then your invisibility fades, right? We hit into that. Uh, do you still have a bonus action? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. A dollar mirror. A dollar mirror? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, use the, uh, I'll use my my rapier. I'm gonna roll. Yep. Attack. Oh, you just missed with that one. Uh, you have advantage, by the way. Do you want to burn one? You have four advantages, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to roll for this one. Okay. I think again, right? With advantage. Yes. Uh, just roll as per normal because you already rolled once. Oh, okay. So roll normal, uh, right? As a roll, only attack once per turn. So roll normal one more time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this time you hit, so go ahead and roll for your rapier damage and your sneak attack damage. Okay, and roll for your sneak attack. So like... Are you stabbing it in its face? Uh, are you more of a... Is your rapier more of a swingy type of rapier or a stabby kind of rapier? The stabby kind of... The stabby kind. 21 damage. 21 oh, wow. Alright, so you you jump in, uh, you stab into this creature, uh, it looks visibly hurt. Alright. Uh, it is going to try... Uh, I can't tell if it's going to hit um, the Maya or Bovar, so... Okay, this is the Maya. It's gonna shoot a burning wheel at at Demaya as well. Oh, that's gonna piss me off. Ooh. Oh my lord! Oh, that pisses me off. Yeah, you fly around the wheel, uh, Demaya. It is your turn. I fly up straight at its face, and I attack it with my hybrid unarmed. Uh, okay, I think it three times, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll do all three. Fine. Okay. Hits. Nice. Uh, eighteen, nineteen, and a uh, fifteen. All three hit. You are slashing into this burning wheel, trying to free your friend. Seven damage. Eight damage. And... Eight damage. 27. Yes. Yeah. Is, is there anything you say to Bolvar as... I think I'm trying to... Or are you just in like... I'm like... Or are you just like in feral rage? Pharaoh, but I look at him. Hi, Bova. Boom, 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 again. Just keep wrecking. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> just imagining, <laughs> like, <laughs> Maya flies, flies in in her normal tiefling self, right? Shoots two arrows, drops the blow, bow, uh, and while she flies towards the burning wheel, you see her her skin peel, her snout pop out, and then she starts 
She she says hi, Bulbar. <laughs> <laughs> right. A moment of silence there. <laughs> All right, uh, Bulbar, can you make an Arcana check? Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, for a moment, you feel yourself weakening. Right. Uh, you don't have a lot of health. You see, uh, the elk. Like behind one of the larger trees in the distance, right? And then for a moment, you just feel like you can cast one of the spells that you have learned before. Oh, interesting. What would be the spell that Bovar would go for? That's a good question. Uh, I think maybe. It's a long list. <laughs> it is a long list, that's why I'm taking a while. <laughs> uh, huh. uh, and then Adolomir, you're, you're up next, yeah. so think mm -hmm. of what you want to do. Could mm -hmm. we use like Polymorph? On? On myself. Oh, what are you changing yourself into? <sighs> I don't know. Like, I, I kinda wanna do this because like Polymorph is probably Bova's like one of his favorite spells. I guess. Fireball yes for sure, Scorching Ray sure, but this guy is fire, so like the backup is probably like Polymorph. Yeah, so what I'm changing to uh Can I go T-Rex? I already had it on standby. Noise. You break out of yeah. you break out of its uh, its grip, right? Uh, you all see uh, Bovar blink a bit. Uh, your ferns begin glowing on your clothes, and then you just burst out into this massive uh, T Rex. Uh, I believe that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Green color T Rex. Yeah, uh, that's the end. Uh, Adolmir, you most probably get pushed back a bit. Uh, it is your turn, Adalmir. I'm standing up uh, by Bova. <laughs> and since I... How far am I pushed back though? Oh, I... I, I uh, just a bit, just back. a bit, yeah. Okay, so I push back myself, right? Um, then I use... Oh wait, so I push back myself first. I know, I, I moved you already. Oh, okay, okay. So then yeah, yeah. I use my hand crossbow again. Oh wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Can I take that, can I take that back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah, no, sorry. I'm gonna use my hand crossbow. I'm so sorry. Ah. You can you can use your hand crossbow because you have a crossbow expert. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, okay. So there's no issue with that. <coughs> uh, remember, you have advantages still that you can use. Okay, so I use my I use my hand crossbow as an advantage. So I attack. Into all right. And roll for damage and sneak attack. Roll for damage. Okay. <laughs> then sneak attack. Yeah. Damage. 19. Mother. Alright, alright. Is it still up? It's still up. Oh man. Uh, but bonus action. You can still shoot one more time. Um then Is there a crossbow expert? Oh, so I shoot one more time. Okay, shoot one more time. Uh attack. So I attack. Do I use advantage or normal? Uh you can use advantage if you want. Oh no, oh yeah, sorry, you're right. Normal. Oh this time you miss. This time right? You... Like as you try to shoot it a second time, uh you load it. It hits your arm right before you fire, and then you just see it flies into the distance. I mean, then right. yeah. So what can I do next? You can choose to move, but if you do, uh, if you move away from it, it will uh, have an opportunity attack. Basically, it will it'll attack you. Um, okay, so that, that being said, you can skirt around it like like this, if you want. Oh, okay. Uh, if you want. Good skirt. Okay, so I move like like here. So 
Okay, move. Alright. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh... The creature... is going to let go of Bolvar. And it's gonna fly... It's gonna fly up as far as it can as it can, can uh, all of you can make opportunity all of you can make opportunity that's attacks cool, that's cool uh can i still strike three times or just one attack 26 <laughs> uh, well, he's gonna kill it uh. okay he, he needs to make a what's this uh crap boat. Yeah, it's, it's grappled. Yeah. Strength. It's uh, no, strength, right? To, as long as my bite hits, right, it's straight with grappled. Okay. Oh, wait, is it medium or smaller? No, it's not, right? No, it's it's uh, it's large, so it doesn't get grappled. Uh, go ahead and roll for damage. 34 damage. <laughs> okay, uh, Demaya and Adolamir, can you make attacks as well? Okay. It's still uh, up. If I use hybrid and arm, do I have to do it? Once or can I do it three times? No, you can only do it once because it's an opportunity attack. It's not a. Oh, if it's flying up, then can I just use my bow? Easy to fly. No, it's an opportunity attack. Oh, <laughs> it has fine, to be a fine. melee attack. Fine. <laughs> it's not a. It's not part of your turn. Come on, Sean. Let's make an attack, boy. I don't hit. Okay. Uh, the claw misses. Uh, so you you are. One of the things you notice is that the dagger appear appears mi mysteriously back on Adolamir's belt, and then you stab it. Go ahead and make your attack, Adolamir. Nice. Okay, so all right. Uh, you you don't need to roll for damage. Um, how how does it? What does it look like, Bolvar and Adolamir, as you both uh, your combined forces kill this burning wheel of flames? Woo! So like, uh, Bova's T-Rex actually has like a sort of like a scar or like a fern shaped scar on like its like neck. Oh nice. Um, so as you see it, it becomes a lot more obvious when it's opening its mouth I guess. So it's opening its huge jaw and then just clamps around the eye of the Athorn. Woo! Then when it slams it down, like Adolomir takes the opportunity to like stab it with the, like break the wheels. Uh, and then you, as as you start stabbing in, ripping the wheel, the the wheel, right? Yeah. Um, it begins to fade, nice. and then it's just these three rings of met metal, uh, and then a big ring surrounding all three rings, and then the eye fades away, right? And then slowly, uh, it calms down. There's silence. Demaya, what is the first thing you're going to say to Bolvar? Bolvar? Hey, Bolvar. Hey. Then, then, is that... Uh, is that more uh, cool? And then uh, the T-Rex's tiny hand waves at Demaya. <laughs> I, think, I think I go to him, I'm like, I'm just petting your, your nails. I'm like, yeah. oh, nice nails. I got mine done too. Mm. I look, oh, is that more cool? I think I, I, <laughs> I fly to him and I hug him. Not wrong, uh, both Adolamir and Moku have yellow hair, so... <laughs> both relatively, as in, I, because I know it's not Bolt, because Bolt is metal, so I, I'm still like, oh, that should be him, you know, this place changes people, <laughs> it changed all of us, look at him, it changed him into this, I hug, oh Moku, I've missed you. The T-Rex so, 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 is shaking his head, like, like... No, that, no, no, that's not more cool. <laughs> I think the moment I hug him, I'm like, oh, look at your beard. I start frisking the beard. Aww. Hey, your whiskers. What do you do? And then and I, I, I just like look at... <clears throat> um, I, I just look at the Maya and just like, what are you? Because I've, oh. never, I've never seen your creature. i never seen yeah, like, creature before. Adol Adol like, I, I think it might freak out a bit because yeah. it's like... No, it's like a what are you kind of thing like it's just like <laughs> like, like like confused and like 
like what just happened and still shaken from the whole uh, battle just now. Yeah, I think the first thing I, s- I tell myself is, oh, this one doesn't know who he's talking to. This one, yes, brother. Oh, sorry, I'm back. Um, I have you transformed back to my original self. I'm like, remember me? Yeah, and then we'll take a break there, right? <laughs> As Adolmir is just like awkward the staring at, them, at the Maya, like, who the hell is this? <laughs> right? no, no, this person you met for two days turned into a T Rex, <laughs> and and this this lady in front of you is like, hey, we're friends, but you ne- literally never met before. So, hey, chat. We'll be back in about five minutes. Uh, grab nice some nice. water and <laughs> and uh, go to your human stuff, and we'll see you in a bit.